Good morning, everybody. This is Bishop Moses. I'm coming to you live. It is a wonderful day, a precious day that the Lord has made for all of us to rejoice and to be glad in it. Uh, today we're going to speak about light. The Bible says God is light. God is light. We're going to speak about light. If you have God, you have light. If you have God, you won't walk in darkness, but you'll walk in light. I'm reading in the book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 to 10. It says, this is a message we have heard from him and announced to you. This is John who's saying this. Remember, John is having a first-hand information. He's saying this is a message that we have heard from Jesus. And we are taking this message direct to, to you. That God is light. Jesus told them, God is light. And in him, there is no darkness at all. You know, uh, John is passing this message to us. He's saying God is light and in him there's no darkness. Now, in other ways, when God appeared where there's darkness, darkness had to vanish, darkness had to run away, and light prevails. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So God is light. In him there is no darkness. In other ways, when you are in God, you don't know what is darkness. Blessed be the name of Jesus, because in your appearance, there's a light. Wherever you are, there's light. If we say, if we say that we have fellowship with him, that is Christ, and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice truth. In, in other words, there's a possibility that a person can say, I know Christ, but yet walk in darkness. What is darkness? Darkness is the work of evil. It's when somebody is living, you know, an evil life. It's when somebody is living in sin. It's when somebody disobey God. It's when somebody is against God. That is walking in darkness. Walking in light is to walk in the principles of God. Walking in light is to obey and adhere to the will of God. That is walking in light. Now, the Bible says, there's a possibility that a person can say, I am for God, yet is still practicing the old behavior. Example of what we are going to learn in this, in this chapter is hatreds. Hatreds. Hating other people. It's a sign that you are still walking in darkness, living in fornication, living in adultery, you know, living in, in anything that is contrary against the will of God, that is walking in adultery. I mean, that is walking in darkness. I'm reading further. The Bible says, But if we walk in light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all our sins. Number one, how do we know that you are walking in, in, in light? How do we know that you are living in light? It's when you have a fellowship with other people. Fellowship in the spirit and also fellowship physical. It's very important, you know, to have fellowship in Christ. Fellowship in Christ, it means getting together in prayer, in worship, in praise, in praying for one another, interceding for one another. That is having fellowship with one another. And that's a sign that you are living in light. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I'm continuing. Uh, chapter 1, verse 2 to 9, it says, The one who says he is in the light yet hate his brother is in darkness until now. Now God is singling out, is showing us that it's very simple for us to walk in darkness. Now, if you hate your brother, if you hate your brother, it does not matter which platform are you standing. If you hate your brother, the Bible says you are in darkness, you are living in darkness. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. So to say you need light. You know, many of us, we are saying we are living in light, yet we are not in light. We still need light, that is Jesus Christ. The one who love his brother abide in light, in, in, in light and those and there is no cause of stumble in him. If you love, if you love, you are living in light. So this morning, I'm spreading the news of light. If you walk, if you walk in light, we are going to see love in you. If you walk in darkness, we are going to see hatred in you. So it is important for all of us to walk out of darkness and begin to walk in light. 
And in light, we are going to please the Lord. In light, we are going to glorify God. In light, we are going to be the true Christians. In light, we are going to be the true child, children of God. In light, we are going to be true, you know, sons and daughters of the Most High. So I encourage you from today, watch yourself. Watch your life. Are you in darkness or in light? You have the answer. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Until we meet again tomorrow, 10 o'clock in the morning, be a blessing. Bless you and bless you. Amen and amen.